everybody. <laughs> I can't do this. How do you film? <clears throat> hey, party people. Welcome to another weird little video. Um, today, I just wanted to do a quick pregnancy second trimester update for all of you who are interested. Last week, I'll insert a clip here, I tried to film this exact video and it ended up being the saddest, most pathetic, oh, I just wanna like crawl into bed and never get out and watch every Hunger Games movie. Just borderline upsetting video I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> and like when I sat down and started to edit it I was like why am I being so like just like weird and miserable I don't know I can definitely tell that like my hormones are um an issue <laughs> at this point I say an issue but more like just a thing like so far throughout my whole first trimester I don't think I experienced really any moodiness. And then um, a switch sort of flipped and now I'm a, not necessarily like um, angry or um, moody in like a bad way, but I'm really like emotionally affected by things. So like I can kind of, you know, you get me started on a subject, I can kind of take it down a little bit of an emotional, dark, moody, cynical route. I'm just sort of feeling all my feelings right now. And you know what? It could be the pregnancy. It could also be that it's Aquarius season. Anyway, so today I wanted to refilm the video that I did last week because I just never even posted it. Didn't even say anything. I just like gave up. I was like, this video is weird. I'm being so weird. <laughs> and, um, so this week I wanted to like get myself out of the house. So instead of filming at home, I brought you guys to Starbucks with me. Um, I got myself a little bit of caffeine. Um, and I think that we're on, we're already just doing so much better <laughs> than last week. You guys, you guys have no idea. Um, so yeah, to put it simply, um, second trimester so far has been pretty great. Um, I, man, I really don't want to jinx myself, and I think definitely at times I can kind of see pregnancy through rose-colored glasses, you know, especially reflecting on last week when I was so, like, kind of just weird and miserable. In case you were wondering how I'm doing, this should sum it up. Um you know, it's easy to say today, like, oh, everything's great, but, like, obviously there are times when it's not, you know. My body's going through an insane change. My hormones are going through an insane change. Every day is, like, super bizarre. So, yeah, I can say, like, everything's great, but, like, it's also just totally crazy and madness, and, but today it's great, and today in my head it's been great. <laughs> so, let's go with that. I guess some of the most significant changes between the first trimester and now would be um, I'm not experiencing any nausea anymore. Not that that was a super big deal in my first trimester either, but I was definitely dealing mostly with like dizziness, dizziness, motion sicknessy type nausea. And now that's really not happening at all. I feel like that has leveled out whatever that was. Whatever that is in pregnancy, that's much better. I'm still getting headaches, but, um, <sighs> you know, what are you going to do? That was something that, like, reached a point where it started to freak me out. And I think it was, like, causing me so much stress that I was, like, making my headaches worse. <laughs> and it was just really bad. But I have, you know, since then I've, like, gotten a little bit of advice from, like, my doctor and some nurses and... Just like reassurance that you're doing the right thing can make a big difference, I've found. <laughs> um, and uh, I've adjusted some of my vitamins in such a way that has helped my headaches, I think. I mean, really, I'm still getting a headache every day. Like, usually in the morning, I'll have a headache. And um, if I treat it, it'll go away, but sometimes it turns into a migraine. I got migraines before I was pregnant. 
obviously my hormones are insane so having hormonal migraines makes sense it's just miserable because I can't um, take as much I mean before I was pregnant I would have I would have just taken however much Excedrin I wanted um, and not really cared about the proper dosage because I was just worrying about me you know but now that I have the baby I only take a certain amount and then if that's not enough I'm just out for the count and I have to just like go to bed <laughs> um, which isn't always possible so it sucks when I'm at work and going through migraine but whatever really so far that has been the hardest thing to deal with in pregnancy has just been like there have been some days where I've been sick and just had to go through um, eight hours of work where I'm on my feet and um it'll just be i call it the quadruple whammy like where i've been um dizzy nauseous um had a headache and just been physically exhausted from being on my feet um <laughs> it's just like what are you gonna do but um you know it seems to just get better and better i i i know that that's you know not going to be the case for long <laughs> once i get a little bit farther along i'm just going to be super heavy and um, you know, have an even more difficult time being on my feet all day, which is too bad because that's my job and I'm going to continue to do that to make money. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to enjoy myself. Um, life updates beyond being pregnant. Um, well, being pregnant has kind of been the catalyst in any change, in any recent change in my life. It's all kind of just revolved around the baby, um, the impending baby. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's been fun to kind of reach the point of my pregnancy where I'm like, okay, well now I kind of have to start actually planning because you go through the first trimester and like, for me, I was just riddled with anxiety about, um, my pregnancy and like being healthy. And I, um, didn't really, I don't really feel like I had the capacity to be like, just like shopping and being excited and blah, blah, blah. Like I was more just like. I'm just gonna try to not think about it and not worry about it and hopefully the baby will be okay and be happy and then once I get to the second trimester I can start to think about it that's just kind of in my attitude and honestly the more I leaned into that attitude um, the happier and the less stressed that I became because um, sometimes like in pregnancy and I guess now in sort of like motherhood parenthood you can kind of get sucked into these like mommy blogs and like mom forums and stuff. And it's just like not necessarily helpful. Like at the end of the day, this is such a solo journey, um, you know, physically solo for me. But like, you know, obviously my husband's going through this too. Like he's also going to have a child. And it's just like, it, it's just really about us at the end of the day. You know, if I need advice, I'm going to ask my doctor. And um, not that I'm offended by getting advice by people or from people, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't need to be, like, constantly t plugged into mom forums and, like, pregnancy forums and stuff. Because I feel like it's just, like, way too much for me. I don't know. Way too much for me. <laughs> Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This has kind of been a, a pregnant brain thing for me lately, which is definitely a thing. I didn't really believe that it was a thing. I thought it was just kind of a sexist thing, sort of like how when you're on a, when you're PMSing, you like turn into a monster or whatever. But it's not really like that. It's like a real, real thing. Like you get um, absent-minded. And um, for me, the farther along I'm getting, I just kind of ramble more. Like I just kind of like... Blah, blah, blah. And I think, honestly, a big part of it is when you're a pregnant woman, you have a lot of stuff on your mind. Like, I'm just always like, da -na 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 -na, and then there's this, and then there's that. And I need to, uh, like, you sort of have to schedule time in your mind to, like, think about stuff. <laughs> I think, anyway. I, I feel like I do that. So that can lead me to just, like, have rambling, you know, just rambling stream of consciousness conversations with other people but really I'm it's like I'm talking to myself I don't know it's bizarre being pregnant is bizarre oh well I was talking about other changes in my life besides the pregnancy um so we are actually in the process of looking to buy a house 
which is super exciting and like I it cannot happen soon enough honestly like I am at the point where I um I'm really not letting myself get worried or stressed about it like I'm not gonna at the end of the day we have to get into a new place we have to figure it out so we will but I wish it would happen sooner because it's like I'm in my second trimester right now this is the time when you're supposed to be like doing any of the hard work and the moving and the organizing and stuff because I'm not gonna want to do that in my third trimester like nobody does like nobody in their third trimester is just like yeah let's move you know what I mean so you know that being said I'm only 16 weeks it's not like the most urgent thing in the world but now that we've gotten pre-approved pre pre for a loan and we kind of know the general area that we want to move to it's just sort of like can we do this immediately <laughs> like um so that's something I'm sure there will be potential videos as soon as we find a place I mean I'll just start filming and um I'll probably film like a lot of the fun stuff that we do I'm really excited to actually like own our own place because I haven't lived you know I, I mean, obviously, we've never owned our own place, but um, I don't feel like I've ever really lived anywhere where I had a lot of license to just do whatever I wanted with the place, like in terms of painting and whatnot. So I'm really excited to do that <laughs> and um, just get the ball rolling and just get settled so I can just relax in the end. And um, yeah, this is another pregnancy video where I wish that Luke were here. Um, but um that's just too bad. I'll just have to speak for him. Anyway, um, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. My phone is dying. Luke is texting me. The sky is falling. I need to go home. I'll be sure to actually post a video next week. I haven't like abandoned my channel. I just, the pregnant brain? I don't know. You guys pick an excuse. Um, but um, I love you guys. I would do anything for you. Thank you so much for clicking and subscribing and watching and um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.